Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, Uyosima, has inaugurated its 14th president, Mrs. Afi Israel Ibanga. It was a colorful ambience and a brilliant combination of people from different works and strata of life as the chambers had an investiture alongside a lecture titled Breaching the Policy Gap for Business Growth. The event got off with relaxing interludes, ushering in the guests and special dignitaries. Members of Yosima made the day more colorful with displays of their business and entrepreneurial skills, ranging from paintings, framing to food, fashion designing, household items, agro products, tech, and creativity. The event was officially opened with prayers as the master of the ceremony, Imabong Udo, took the floor after the national anthem to introduce invited guests and executives. She invited a renowned economist and former vice chancellor of University of Yo, Professor Akpanikbo, to deliver the lecture for the day titled Bridging the Policy Gap for Business Growth. Professor Ekbo pointed out vital ways to enable private sector grow their businesses and in turn boost the economy. I was asked to talk on the topic bridging the policy gap for business growth. Let me say from the onset that the main paper has been given to the organizers and you can read the main paper. What I'm doing here just to do a PowerPoint uh, uh, presentation. Details are the main paper. And uh, the outline is as follows. I will do a brief introduction. Uh, usually any topic I have, I like to look at the economy, under which we are trying to look at the policy gap. In the catalyst market economy, the usual tendency is for government to surprise the private sector. Okay? with its policies, and for the private sector to predict government's action. That's the game you play. We call it in economics the invariant proposition. Okay? Unfortunately, it doesn't happen that way in our, own, uh, in our experience. Uh, I can give you my own experience later at national level. But that's the game you play normally. Uh, uh, this game, in quote, results in ensuring that government becomes a better manager of the economy, what the public sector contributes its role as an engine of growth. We noted that both government and the private sector are participants in any economy. In recent times, the economy has experienced two recessions, 2015 and 2020, due to domestic and external shocks, such as maybe sharp declining oil revenues, underconsumption in my own perception underinvestment, as well as the COVID-19 health pandemic. Though the economy, though the economy technically existed in recession, say so technically, relevant macroeconomic fundamentals continue to move in the wrong direction. Those are just looking at the structural economy and sectorial analysis. Let me move straight to what I call the macro. You hear about unemployment, inflation, and so on. The data in terms of tables are very good in my paper. What I did there was to look at the graphs, give you a pictorial analysis of what is happening. The first one I said selected macro performance indicator. You look at inflation, growth rate in GDP, unemployment rate, and what I call Aquanico Misery Index. The lecture was followed immediately by a panel of discussion. The panelists analyzed more on the roles of governments in private sector. So imagine having 31 modular factories in different local governments. We just created 310 jobs directly and over 60,000 jobs indirectly to the farmers. Thank you. Uh, the capacity of the private sector is still quite low. I mean, one example that we have, many of you flew here on Ibo Air. If the government did not intervene and waited for a private sector person to do it, maybe we'll still wait many years. So I want to totally agree with him. 
that government needs to intervene in business. Um, and, and then, of course, eventually allow private sector to collaborate, partner, like uh, my colleague just said. The second and only point I want for want of time is this need for more collaboration between the private sector. I don't know, we have government officers here, honorable commissioners, representatives. It would be a good thing if the private sector gets involved in the budgeting process so that we can tell you and make valuable input so that as you draw this budget, it is private sector that is going to run it to a large extent so that we can then collaborate. It's, it's, it's a suggestion and I believe we can begin to do that here. I, I run an agribusiness and I'm the vice president in charge of SMEs for Wheel Chamber of Commerce. When I saw the topic, bridging the policy gap for business growth, it sent uh, a lot of messages down me, but for want of time, I'll just pick out a few points, like uh, the last speaker had said, the private sector, he talked of budgeting, private sector should be involved in budgeting, private sector should be involved in policy formulation. Policies that are going to affect the private sector, the private sector should be involved in such policy formulation. The private sector should not just stop at policy formulation, the private sector should also be involved in policy implementation. The chairman of the occasion Chairman of Ibom Air, Sir Imo Basu Jacob, in his remarks urged stronger collaboration between the private and the public sectors. He stressed the need of government intervention in bridging the policy gap for business growth while applauding and acknowledging the excellent lecture by Professor Akpanekbo. Today is a celebration, a celebration of the future. Uh, the past is gone. We look forward to the incoming administration to be able to take uh, the chapters to greater heights and uh, do much more to deepen the partnership that should exist or that has it, that is in existence and should be deepened between the state and organized uh, private sector. The lecturer uh, uh, expanded our horizon, and I must really thank you, Prof. I was writing notes as if I was in your class. And indeed, it was a class. Uh, thank you for expanding knowledge and thoughts. Uh, you broke many conventions. Uh, you spoke extempore, you, you spoke your mind. Uh, I like the line that you said that uh, the private sector is not to, has nothing to do with development, but is an engine of uh, growth that is not the business of the private sector to bother about uh, development, but that for development uh, to come, um, the government, the public sector must intervene, and I like the way you put it, intervene qualitatively. Other highlights of the day featured Barrister Joe Ukbong, who came up gracefully to take the Nasima Code of Ethics. Mutual trust and respect, dignity and best business practices. Generally, members of the association are expected to be loyal in all our dealings and to have mutual respect to the laws of the land and assist other to assist the nation, to protect the health, safety, and economic environment of all, to be fair, firm, and transparent with customers, suppliers, and competitors, to respect the right to fair competition as an acceptable global phenomenon, to respect the confidentiality of business to trade secrets or information of constituent members entrusted to us, not to take advantage of fellow members' recognized weaknesses, and not to politically seek to take over the ownership of the members' business or right, to promote and protect business interest of private sector operators by healthy networking, 
to shun any form of abuse of office, bribery, and corruption. To always remain a partner with all types of government, but to be non-hesitant to criticize or disagree with bad policies and or actions of the government. To commend the good works and policies of government that enhance better living standards and economic growth of our nation, Nigeria. To settle disputes or disagreements that may arise within the chambers of government's movement internally. And last but not the least, to avoid as, as much as possible any member from taking grievances to the law court for settlement without first recourse to the intervention of the Chamber of Commerce Association as the case may demand. Thank you very much. A valedictory speech taken by the immediate past Uyosima president, Obon Nsengin Ebon, was next on the order of events. According to him, it was an impactful tenor, even with the COVID-19 pandemic. Vice President, the media past president of Yosima, it gives me immense pleasure to know that the man of Yosima leadership is going from me to an immensely capable person. Mr. Safiomi Baga worked with me in Yosima for two years as deputy. Despite this, we challenged ourselves to keep Yosima working. I found her to be a worthy deputy, selfless, indefatigable, fully committed, and a great mobilizer. Contributed more to the success of the launching of the Yosima's Women and Youth Wing in 2021. She spent nothing to support Yosima. She spent not her time, her business, her money, her comfort. I have no doubt in my mind that she will make a great president. I have no doubt also in my mind that she and her team will take Uyosima to greater heights. I wish her, I wish her and her team a successful and rewarding team. To underscore the main event of the day, Mrs. Afi Ibanga was invited upstage to be sworn into the office by the Nasima president, Ide John Udeagbala. By the special grace of God Almighty, on behalf of all Sandina, we join you. The Creator, in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The new president who is the second female president of Yosima, Afi Israeli Banga, showed appreciation as she gave her certain speech, thanking God, her family, media, Akwaibum State Government, founders, and organizers of Yosima for the opportunity bestowed on her. Thank God so much for this day, for all that he has called me to do for the chambers. I thank God for the wonderful people that have graced this occasion, from my national president of Nigeria Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, in person of Ide, John Udiagbala. He came all the way, canceled his trips to make this day a memorable day for us. I thank God for my mentor, Iyalode Alaba Lawson, MFR, FIODJP, of which we tag her Yellow Day of the Universe, not just the Yoruba land. I thank God for my wonderful husband, who has been a backbone for this movement. He has been a very supportive, wonderful partner. I thank God for all the women group that have find it, deem it fit to be here with me, right from Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, and Ambra State. You all can see that it was a grand victory. Thank God for the ESCOs and the council members of Rio Chambers of Commerce. I bless God for this day. The media, I thank you all for being here with me. The cultural dancers, I thank them for being 
partaker of this great event. Nasima President, Mr. Ide Ude Agbala, with Yosima President, Afi Ibaha, together gave a word to the executives. I want to present this to my national president. This is made in Akwa State. Thank you so much. Thank you. To my mentor, Yalode and the band you've been, you've been a, great, a great support in all my chamber movement. I thank you so much. This is for you, man. Thank you for taking our time to be here with us. Thank you, man. That they give to us and the collaboration that we are taking off with, we are in. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines, and Agriculture. I'm so glad, like I told him the other day, he's still alive to see what is happening in the chamber. Thank you so much, sir. This is. Uh, a flag from the state of all, all the past presidents of the old chambers of government. And to say that we still need your support. You may be retired or so retired, but I'll keep knocking on your door. Thank you so much for all that you are for your chambers of government. Thank you, sir. Reception that you accorded us yesterday, and they found like it was wonderful. We are so grateful. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Afi Banger finally stated the roles of Uyosima, promising to offer quality leadership and liaise with the government to create an enabling environment for the private sector to work stronger. The services that we render in Uyosima is for entrepreneurs. We want to grow the business community in Akwa Ibom State. We are the organized private sector, the voice of businesses in Akwa Ibom State. And that we are collaborating with the agenda of the government of the day to make sure that we go and in line with what His Excellency, our industrial son, has put forward for us to achieve. So uh, this day has unveiled and I will start for us to move the chamber forward with our objectives, with our aims, in order for us to reach a greater height in the economy. Thank you so very much. The mother of the day, Iyalode Alaba Lawson, and her fees associates gladly showed her with warm wishes and prayers, describing her as a workaholic that deserves this and more. Today, I am in New York, Aqua Ibom to celebrate with my sister, Chief Mrs. Afi Israeli Banga, on her investiture as the 14th president of Uyo Chambers of Commerce, second female president of Uyo Chambers of Commerce. Definitely I feel great and I felt fulfilled because when we started the mentoring, I told her she must be ready to serve. Being the president is to serve. And I know definitely Afi is going to leave good legacies of leadership in Uyo Chambers of Commerce. She has started it all with the women group and the youth group, empowering them to make sure they, com they contribute their own to the economy of this state and Nigeria in particular. So please, I have no doubt that Afi is going to be a good leader. And I pray that Jehovah will continue to strengthen her and replenish her. Because one thing is that you need to spend your three T's at the leadership of Chambers of Commerce. You must spend your, t your time, your tam uh, talent, and your treasure. They must work together as a team. You can see now, she has started. And I wish her and her tenure the best in your chamber of commerce. Meanwhile, the chairman of the occasion, Imobasi Jacob, summarized it all, describing the event as a rebirth and a dream come true for Uyo Sima. Having been graced by the national leadership, 
means that the work that is done here at the state level has been acknowledged at the national level and with uh, broad-based collaboration. Um, I believe that um, um, the new leadership that is being inducted today will find shoulders to lean on and help uh, in times of need. He called on members to join their hands in building Uyo Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, Uyo Sima, soliciting on incoming executives to be dedicated and save even more than their predecessors. <laughs> Thank you.